Hey everybody, Pat Petrillo here once again for Drum Talk TV. And I'm here at the NAMM Show 2019. We're here at the Vic Firth uh, booth and we're gonna talk about some marching sticks. I'm here with Andy. Hey Pat, how you doing? Good brother, good to see good you. Good to see you, man. And so we're gonna get into the numerous marching and signature sticks, tenor sticks, uh, various brush and effects sticks that they use in the marching world. So take it away. All right, all right. Well, we got a huge assortment of marching sticks, mallets, tenor mallets, bass drum mallets. You know, this was really the Core Master series um, really started at a time when not many people were really doing a lot of marching specific stuff. And so Neil Aravi was kind of the champion of no, you know, trying to get Vic on board with, hey, there's really a market here. We got to we got to develop some product. We got to get more sticks, more sticks. Um, and they're all really kind of specialized. We have a huge signature line. So, you know, artists all the way, Ralph Hardiman, Tom Unks, Jeff Queen, Johnny Lee Lane, Roger Carter, Tom Float, Murray Gussick, Lee Bettis, Mike Jackson, John Mapes, Colin McNutt, Tom Unks. So just for snare drum, there's a ton of signature models with, you know, key guys. Yeah, and I remember the Hardiman stick had been out for forever, Ralph stick. So each one of these has a little different weight. So let's pick a few, maybe, let's start with the basic core master, like the MS1, MS2, and kind of pick a couple and see what the differential is. There's a chop out stick, you know, we'll just pick a couple and, and see what's up. Yeah, sure, so just to pick a couple of different things. Um, you know, Ralph's stick is, is our oldest signature stick in this line. It's probably the most widely used, most popular marching stick in the world. Just super, really well balanced. And there's a lot of variations just in that. The Ralph Hardiman Hammer. It's the Ralph Hardiman II. This is the same specs, but it's made in Stay Pack, which is a laminated birch product for like a, a ton of weight. It looks a little shorter, maybe. Uh, it actually is. Yeah, it is. You're right. Um, it's a great workout stick. Drum set guys use it too, honestly. And then we got a version with a rubber tip on it. If you're playing, you want to play anywhere on a desk, something like that. Oh, that's very cool. So it's a practice, sort of a practice stick with uh, rubber tips. Yeah, so that's probably our oldest signature stick and one of our newest ones, which is a totally different vibe. We go all the way down here to Roger Carter. So you've seen the way Roger plays and how flowy everything is, and it's really almost like a drum set approach to marching snare drum. The taper on this thing is so long that it really gives the stick a balance that's way different from something more traditional like a Ralph Hardiman. So sort of like two extremes there and everything in between. Wow, very cool. Yeah, that's really that's a really thick taper I like that being a drum set guy myself who started in drum corps I can appreciate that yeah for sure and then we got the Tom Unst yep Tom Unst sticks also another uh, older signature model it's been around for a really long time another super popular choice and what is that uh, dimension that's gonna be uh, just under 17 inches and I believe it's 670 or 675 yeah 675 diameter you know, another, another interesting thing we just came out with, this is actually new for NAM. So going back to like the Ralph Hardiman twos with the rubber tip and people like that idea, you know, be able to kind of play with a practice tip anywhere they go. We have drum set practice tips. Oh, wonderful. But the drum set practice tips don't work on the marching sticks because the marching sticks are so big. So this year we came out with a universal practice tip for specifically marching sticks. So That's get, great. You know, two pairs of these, so if you lose one, falls under the between the seats of the bus drum corps season or whatever. That's awesome. You got an extra set in there. It's pretty universal then. Yeah, they'll fit on all these sticks. All the core master models. That's fantastic. All right, let's get into some tenor mallets. Yeah, sure. So tenor, you know, we, we really started the tenor line with the uh, multi-tenor mallets. At the time when these were developed, really everybody was using that kind of aluminum shaft vibe. And you've got sort of the basic nylon cookie. We've got a really wide one, you've got the puff, you've got the hard spun felt. So a couple different sound colors there. Obviously as marching is developed, people are gravitating more towards sticks. Uh, the sticks are getting longer. It used to be everything for tenors was designed real short because the drums were so close to you. Modern drums, modern carriers, the drums are getting further out. So people like to use sticks more. And so we've come into this whole world of sticks and some of them are signature, some of them are not. Probably the most popular one is going to be the MTS-1, so it's a marching tenor stick one. And this kind of has the classic diamond-shaped nylon tip for a bright sound on it. Kind of gives you what you get out of the nylon on the classic tenor aluminum uh, shaft mallets, but it, in a stick. 
So this is a super popular one. Uh, I can really remember back in the day when I marched in the Bridgman that nobody used drumsticks on tenors. We were the first to use drumsticks on tenors. Everybody was using regular mallets. And now you see a whole lot of people using stick type things on mallet on tenors, I should say, which is which is pretty cool evolution. Yeah, absolutely. And then moving on from tenors on the bass side, um, actually I can just take this right out of the display for you, show you. So our, our marching bass series, um, you know, we've had this forever. It was the first marching bass handle that kind of has this tapered handle. I mean, in college, I was a bass drummer, so like this was what I used. And to just have that extra bit of diameter in your hand really gives you sort of the comfort. And then you're taking it out of up here, so you don't have all that weight up front. Um, all of the marching bass mallets are available in a puffy and a non-puffy version. So you got the MB2S there for soft and the MB2H for hard. Well, this makes a, that's a huge difference, I tell you, right there, with having the weight more in the back. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So that's the marching bass. Very cool. And uh, Groove Series, uh, what are these about? Yeah, so the Groove Series, this was developed for, um, in collaboration with the H HBCU universities, so historically black colleges and universities. And that's just a, a whole other marching style where, I mean, you've seen them, like the movie Drumline, and they've got the, the aluminum shafts, um, the straps around for your wrist so you can kind of drop them and do tricks. And oh, right. Like Absolutely. Yes, yeah, so it's a whole different vibe. You, pro you won't see these on the field at DCI or anything like that, but this is for really like the college band, sort of big band kind of thing. Definitely a harder ball, too. Uh, it's actually the same hard spun felt as these. Oh, okay, got it. The only difference yep. is the aluminum shaft. I see. The rubber grip, the length, and then. For the, twirling and yeah, stuff. And then the strap for your wrist. That's great. Yeah, Fantastic. Man. And now let's talk a little bit about some of these that translate to the marching thing, like dreadlocks, I know for sure. Yeah, so Dreadlocks, is, this is a product that was designed for drum set. It's a, a hard uh, braided wire bristle, so it's nothing really like a drum set, um, a traditional drum set brush. But the, the sneak attack on these things, we designed them for drum set, and I would say probably, I don't know, I'm just guessing 70% of the people who use these use them on marching snare drum. And tenors, but marching snare drum. And it just gives you that, like, way back feels, you know, the, the snares are way in the back. You're playing a ballad or some a different texture. Yeah, that little like crunchy sort of popcorn-y sound like way back sort of in the in the mix of the ensemble. When you hear that, you're hearing this. And everybody uses these regardless, honestly, regardless of what brand they endorse. People use Absolutely. Great products. Of course, Vic leading the way in so many things and really appreciate it, Andy, for yeah, your Pat, time. Yeah, thank you. And uh, it's good to be over here. And uh, Nam 2019, the Vic Firth marching products. I'll be back. We'll see you soon.